Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to today's morning ramble. And today's ramble was sparked by I've been uh, reading from um, uh, Eckhart Tolle's Oneness with All Life, which uh, my friend Mavis Karn describes as a sipping book, and that you can kind of pick it up, take a sip, and just savor it. And I was reading this particular passage about the body. We have to enter the body to go beyond it and find out that we are not that. Equating the physical sense-perceived body that is destined to grow old, wither, and die with I always leads to suffering sooner or later. To refrain from identifying with the body doesn't mean that you neglect, despise, or no longer care for it. If it is strong, beautiful, or vigorous, you can enjoy and appreciate these attributes while they last. You can also improve the body's condition through right nutrition and exercise. If you don't equate the body with who you are, when beauty fades, vigor diminishes, or the body becomes incapacitated, this will not affect your sense of worth or identity in any way. In fact, as the body begins to weaken, the formless dimension, the light of consciousness, can shine more easily through the fading form. Now, what it, what it sparked in me was a notion that I, I often hear when people are, are critiquing the inside out understanding. And they say, well, it doesn't, it doesn't spend enough time, give enough attention to the body. And, and for me, that's always seemed an odd accusation in a couple of ways. The, the first one being, it's a bit like saying, hey, my plumbing training taught me nothing about biomechanics. It's like, well, yeah, it wasn't a biomechanics training, it was a plumbing training. In other words, if we are focusing on a spiritual understanding, the fact that it doesn't spend that much time focused on the material kind of makes sense. If we are sharing a spiritual understanding, an understanding of the formless nature of the universe before the form, it makes sense that it doesn't get too into the weeds of the details of one particular form. And my personal experience has been that I've actually been far more in my body since coming to see what I've seen about the, the nature of the human experience. I've become much more attuned to the feelings and sensations of the body as guides to how I'm using the gift of thought in any given moment. Am I using it for myself or against myself? And it's always unwittingly if it's against myself. And a question came to mind that I thought would be a fun question to share with you guys for you for you to comment on it uh, you know, down below the video. And it's, if you knew, like you knew for a fact that you weren't your body, but it was yours, how would that change your relationship with it? Like, I don't identify with my dogs, but they're mine to care for while they're here. I don't identify with my car, but it's mine to care for. I don't identify with my house as me, but I do my best to care for my house, make sure it's well looked after, do what I need to do so that it will, it will last and be as attractive as I can make it. So if you knew that you are not your body, but it is yours to do with as you will, what would you do differently? And I'd, again, I'd love it to, to see what you share in the comments section below. Have fun, learn heaps, happy exploring, and I'll talk to you soon.